What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at a product from Henge Docks. Now, they're known for making docking stations for Apple computers. This product is a little different, it's called the Click and what it does is takes your regular wireless Apple keyboard along with a wireless magic trackpad and puts them into one continuous unit so that you can use it from the couch or just a way of keeping it tidy on your desk. It also remaps the power buttons as I just showed you there in that picture, meaning you don't have to remove each independent device in order to turn them on and off. Here you can see you've got the instructions again on the inside of the box. Other than that, you've really only got the unit itself. There aren't any accessories or anything like that included. Just one piece of molded plastic ready to receive your wireless keyboard as well as your wireless magic trackpad. Now on the bottom of the device, you've got the branding from Henge Docks, and uh, here's a better look at that power switch. This switch here is responsible for the power on the keyboard, and then there's another switch on the end of the unit responsible for the power of the Magic Trackpad. I'll show you that in a quick second. The thing has solid rubberized feet on there so that it's not going to slip around your desk, and when you've got the whole package put together, it actually feels quite sturdy even sturdier than each independent device on its own. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install the wireless keyboard as well as the Magic Trackpad. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to. You've got to kind of click it in and uh, wait to see if you, you know if you get that satisfying click. You make sure as well that the front corners are set in properly. Uh, same thing goes on this side. You're actually going to want to install the bottom portion before the top portion as I learned really quickly here and then set the back part down and there you go you have one solid continuous unit capable of um, inputting you know either multi-touch gestures or regular mouse input as well as text this could be very useful from the couch um, you know for a media center mac mini or something along those lines um, removing each independent device is a little bit tricky at first you got to kind of know where to apply pressure but um, eventually you'll get the hang of it. Once again, you're not really going to have to remove these that often. It's only going to be when you want to replace batteries. Otherwise, you know, you can control the power, etc. as I mentioned earlier. And here is that far power button, which is responsible for pressing down on the uh, power button right within the Magic Trackpad, the regular power button. So it just sort of, it's kind of a dumb button in the sense that it just presses down on it. And that middle button is more like a switch, but it does work fine. I did test it. So uh, anyway, guys, this has been a quick look at the click from Henge Docs. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully you can like and favorite it as it does help me out a bunch. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not go ahead and do that too? I got a lot more content planned, new products coming up all the time on the channel. Anyway, guys, until the next video, I will see you around. Okay, later.